Hi everyone! Welcome to Mom's Filipino Kitchen. My name is Beth Kazemi and today I'll be showing you one of my son's favorite Filipino dishes, kare kare. Let's get started. We're going to grab a large pot and fill it up with about 5 to 6 cups of water. Then we'll add meat and one red onion, diced. For this dish, feel free to use any combination of beef you like. Today we got one pound of beef shank, a pound of beef tripe, and about a pound of oxtail. And it's very important to keep any bones in the pot. That will help us create a broth that we'll use later. We'll let that come to a boil and then get started on our veggies. Traditionally, I cook kare kare with cabbage, eggplant, string beans, and bok choy leaves. Some Filipinos use banana heart or banana blossoms, which is called puso ng saging. I tend to just eyeball how much of each ingredient I want to use and I cut everything into more manageable pieces. In a small bowl, put one to two bags of achuete, add warm water, and stir. Next, we're going to heat a small pan and then add three tablespoons of vegetable oil. Then we're going to add half a head of minced garlic and one red onion diced. Back to our boiling pot. Once the meat is tender to your liking, we're going to remove it from the pot and add it to the shallow pan, sauteing it with garlic and oil. Hey, it's Josh. Now it's time to make this dish Filipino. We're going to add two cups of peanut butter to the pan and mix it thoroughly. Once we have it mixed, we're going to add about half of the broth we made and the achote mix. Bring it to a simmer, season it with salt and pepper, and sit back and get psyched. Now we can add our mixture back into the pot with the rest of the broth and let that cook for 10-15 minutes. Then we can add our veggies and turn off the heat. Let the pot sit for a bit until the veggies are how you like it and we're ready to serve. Some Filipinos in the southern islands use fresh peanuts and lightly grind them instead of using bottled peanut butter. And in some other cities, even roast the peanuts first before grinding them. Now let's see how ours taste. Josh is adding a little bit of bagoong. This is typical for kare kare. It's essentially like an anchovy paste that just adds more of a salty flavor and not necessarily a fishy flavor. That's really good, Mom. And there you have it, a Filipino favorite. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe so you never miss a single episode of Mom's Filipino Kitchen. There's nothing better than sharing good food with your friends and families. And we hope you share this video with them too. We'll see you next time. And we hope you watch this video with them too. You share. That's really suck. Okay. There you have it. A favorite Filipino. <laughs> <laughs> okay, one.